today we're going to be taking a look at the Katsu B1, revolutionary new device from Katsu Global. This is Katsu's first truly tubeless design that is also controlled by a smartphone. Inside the packaging, there's the Katsu wearable units themselves. There are the specially designed Katsu air bands with a connector that connects to the B1 wearable. There are also neoprene sleeves that securely hold the wearable to the band. Let's put together the B1 units. You start by opening your armband or leg band. Take the wearable unit and notice that there's a hole on one end of it. That hole corresponds to the attachment tube on the band. Gently insert it so it's nice and snug and then lay the wearable unit onto the Velcro strip. At this point, you'll also want to put the neoprene sleeve over the wearable in order to secure it in place. This is especially helpful if you're doing a very active movement, such as running, jogging. We'll do the same thing with the other band. Insert the wearable onto the valve, lie it on the Velcro, and slide the neoprene sleeve over the B1 unit. And now we're ready for our Katsu session. Once the wearables are connected to your bands, it's time to fire up the app. If you don't have it already, please download it from the Apple App Store or the Android Store. When you first open the app, it'll ask you to register your account. Please fill in all your information, including the health questions, as those will help deliver more personalized data for you. Once you're done registering your app, now it's time to pair the wearables to your phone. Start by turning on one wearable by pressing and holding the button until you hear a beep, and you'll see it light up. On your phone, in the upper left-hand corner, there's a button that says pair wearables. You can select whether this is the right or the left unit. A screen will show up showing the unit, and you click pair. There's a confirmation with a red outline around the side you chose. Do the same with the other unit. and pair the remaining side. Once the B1 wearables are paired to your device, anytime you open your phone and start up the app, they should automatically pair from that point forward. Now it's time to place the bands. If you're not sure how to place the bands or where, please refer to the other band placement videos available on the website. The B1 bands are the same as the other Katsu bands in terms of where you place them. Make sure that the wearable unit is to the outside of the arm if you're using them on your arms. If you're using them on your legs, make sure that the B1 unit is to the outside of your leg. And now we're ready for a session. On the app, you'll first want to start in the cycle mode. You can select arms or legs. In this case, I'm using arms. Hit next. There are preset pressures, low, medium, and high or you can even customize your session. We always recommend starting with low in order to get your body ready for katsu. You can also select a number of sets and press start. You'll notice the wearable units begin to inflate the bands and you'll see the live readout of your pressure on the screen as well as how many sets you're doing, how much time is remaining within your step and how many steps total within your set. If at any point you need to readjust the bands or remove the pressure inside the bands, you can hit pause. And once you hit repeat, it picks your session back up. Or if you're done with your session and want to terminate it early, you can always hit stop. Another exciting feature we have with the Katsu B1 is the new progressive mode. To access that, go back to the home screen Select Advanced Modes, Progressive. Select whether you're using arms or legs. And you can use the standard progressive cycle or customize it. Progressive Mode gives you 16 steps within its single cycle, 
which effectively takes you from a low level of pressure all the way up to a high level of pressure in a single session. The app also allows you to do the constant mode, where instead of cycling pressure on and off, the pressure remains within the bands. And this is only for advanced users. Select advanced modes, constant, select whether you're using arms or legs. Your maximum time allowable is 10 minutes. You can then choose your SKU level. Note that you can do an independent left and right level, or you can have them linked to be the same pressure. An exciting new feature with the B1 is the capture of user data. Navigate to the home screen, click on the usage data button, and you can see each Katsu session that you've performed. You can also view your individual session data to see the date and time, the mode, position, SKU, and duration of each Katsu session. If at any time you need to make changes to your user profile, you can also access that from the home screen. An exciting new feature that the B1 enables as well is the ability to share your data with a health practitioner, coach, or teammates. You can access that from the hamburger menu in the upper right and select share your data. We hope you enjoy your new B1 units. If for any reason you need help or support, please reach out to us at katsu.com. To turn off your B1 unit, simply press and hold the button in the center until the unit beeps.